here at Mid Ohio checking out all the vintage bikes. Stay tuned, there's going to be some beautiful bikes here today. I'll try to show you all the ones that uh, catch my eye. And if you can make it here, this is a, a staple of the vintage motorcycle community. And not just vintage bikes, a lot of families come here. This is probably the best bike to have here. A little XR100. How you, how you liking it? You having fun? Enjoy the ride. The reason I say that is there's a lot of pit riding here. So a little four-stroke is a blast to ride around and they're pretty durable. They won't overheat. Or a little two-stroke like this 250 Yamaha. <clears throat> you definitely want a trail bike here though because this is mostly mostly riding through the pits. But if it's got two wheels and a motor, you'll have fun here. Fun here. We just we just did one of these 350 Bridgestones over. Shit, that looks exactly like ours. Maybe that is ours. By the way, the bike is Suzuki RL 250. How about a, a three-cylinder Kawasaki? I think that's an H1500. Look at that thing. Turbocharged Suzuki XN85. GS1100. It's Friday, and uh, a lot of the guys aren't even here yet. A lot of the guys had to, still have to work or they're traveling from another state. So this whole field in the middle here will be full of vintage bikes by, by Saturday afternoon for sure. There's a nice CB404. There's a six-cylinder. It's a beauty. That's a cool-looking bike right there, six-cylinder. Super sport. The magic is. There's a 1968 Yamaha YR2. Here's an RD350 tracker. That's beautiful. Look at that thing. Wow. Another XS650. Another Yami Enduro with a seat for your girl on your back. I think the person that kept it. Sounds good. Are you the guy off the top of Connecticut? Yes. What year's your Yami? What's that? What year's your Yami? 64. 64? Sounds really nice. Is that a 90? 80. 80. Enjoy the ride. He's walking around incognito. What's going on? How are you? Good to you see you. You got a minute? Yeah, sure. Of course. How are you? Steve Searles from Michigan. Steve, what do you got here? This is a 1978 Yamaha XS 1100. First year for the 1100 for Yamaha. Uh, it's only got 188 miles on it. How did that happen? The guy uh, bought it from a dealership up yeah, north in Michigan. Yeah. Drove it home to his uh, living room, parked it in his living room, and it sat there for 44 years until I got it. Wow. It's virtually brand new, 188 miles. dealer showroom, not a piece of scratch on it anywhere. Unbelievable. This may be the nicest one left in existence. This might be the nicest XS 1100 in the United States. 188 miles uh, well. Uh, oh, even the clear coat on the motor is still intact. It's usually all pitted off. Wow. This is a real keeper right here. Yeah. This is, have you had it judged? Uh, not yet. I, 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 I've only, this is the second time I went to Gilmore in Michigan. And this is the second this, time this could be a 100 point bike, you know? Spectacular. Oh. Guys, this is the inside of this gas tank. Looks like it just came out of the factory. Guys, this is Dylan and his dad, Andy. They ride motorcycles together. He's got a GT80 Yamaha, which is, if you follow our channel, that was one of my first bikes I ever had. I had a 70, what was it, 72 Silver. What, what year is yours? Four stroke, which 73. Or maybe it was a, every time I say it's a 72, everybody's like, no, they only made them in 73. I don't remember, I was nine years old, but that was my first real motorcycle. What are you riding? I got YC175. Awesome, awesome. The best part about it, father, son, here at the event, having a great time. You guys are the, he's the future of motorcycling, and it's cool to see you passing it on. You guys have a great time today. Nice. Got it from a guy, just got it running to get here. It's beautiful. Sounds good. Hey, if you want to sell it, I need something to ride around. <laughs> you probably have to put a not for sale sign on it. Here's a never. Holy time machine. Oh, nice two fifties. Beautiful. Is that original paint on that? No, it looks brand new. Enjoy it. 
Belichick. The British tent here. Look at that Norton. Wow. That thing's beautiful. Wow. Everywhere you look, wow. Stunning. Very, very, very nice. Some beauties in here, guys. If you can't, didn't make it this year, come. Uh, you can camp out here. Uh, they have pretty much unlimited camping. Hundreds of acres in the field out here. It's affordable. What a great play, way to spend the weekend with your with your family and friends. And if you don't have a family or friends or they don't want to go, just come by yourself. Like I did. I do have a family and friends, but they were tied up working. So this was kind of a business trip for me to go pick up the, the, the new semi. The military, military two-stroke. And there's some new classics here. The Royal Enfield brand is here displaying their new bikes. Very nice. Yeah, it's an anti-interceptor 750, and okay. you can see how it's kind of been like the test bed, kind of made the, the blueprint for our new That's the that's twos. the original that's 1970. That's the original, and that's the new one. They, they you can see that the DNA is very yeah, similar. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. That's right. The chrome tanks are are just beautiful. They're hot, man. They really are. How are you? I'm good. Good. Enjoying it. Do you like if we could, I would love to get a Royal Enfield dealership for sure. Just uh, you know, to have a vintage, classic-looking, modern motorcycle like this kind of seems like a perfect match with what we're doing. Now they're getting into this thing, single cylinder uh, um, adventure bikes too, which would be awesome. Suzuki showed up, a nice lineup of bikes. And I did races, I think we were all the same. I, I, I tried to hide my better than... Probably a lot of you remember the match races in 86. Yeah, they're bumping into each other in every quarter, it seemed like. Brand, brands hatch. We tried, we tried to kill each other. I really do. Actually, I didn't try to kill him. He tried to kill me first. <laughs> you guys weren't all that friendly back in those days, were you? No, I had pole position, but they made the front row because the top six guys got to race the Camel Challenge. So if you haven't been there, there's this main drag here that uh, hey, that everybody just rides up and down all day long. Uh, go karts, mostly motorcycles, but now and then you get these ATCs and golf carts and stuff. The pit bikes here. This is Kevin Senior, Kevin Junior from Beckley Honda. What's up, Kevin? What's up, bro? How you doing, man? How's things going at Beckley Honda? Good to see you, man. Everything's good. You and your son are riding twins here, right? Yeah, yeah. Matching, matching dudes, same names, same bikes. You Senior know, and junior, just like Kenny and I. So well, these are, are these 1992s, I think you said? Yeah. What size engine are they? They're 90cc two-strokes. I think it's the only only two-stroke that, uh, that Honda made, uh, you know, on a, on a scooter-style bike. Like yeah. an off-road style scooter. That's awesome. Absolute perfect thing to ride around finish days. Perfect for the swap meet. You can't go wrong. Get knobby tires. And everything. Those are all original stock, too. Yeah, they actually wind up a little further than what you think. It's the best part of seeing the father-son team riding together. That's what I like about it. That's what this festival is about. It's our favorite event of the year. We never miss it. And we love it. Looks like uh, everybody else is loving it, too. It have a like, good like, like have it. a good time. We don't have too much fun. Don't get hurt. Attendance, <laughs> attendance is Got to watch out for the crazies so. at nighttime. That's right. So our, our sport, our industry looks to be okay. It's oh, yeah. Cool. It's going well. Nice meeting you guys. You too, man. Yeah. We'll see you in the camp. Yeah, I'll later. come down and check it out later. Yes, sir. Have fun. See you. Oh, two strokes. That's what it's all about, guys. Families riding around on motorcycles that most fun you can possibly have and ATCs it's all a lot of big adventure bikes like this this one's all the way from Connecticut here's something you don't see every day this is an SWM and uh, Rieju this is um I believe somehow related to gas gas uh, before KTM bought them is Rieju uh, related to gas gas at all do you know did I pronounce that right Rieju Rieju are, are these related to gas gas uh, in, uh, genetically? Well, what's the story there? Uh, KTM, so the KTM bought out gas gas. KTM bought out gas gas, yep. So then Riehu took over the platform, the 2018-19 okay. platform, and made their... Made their so Riehu... It's actually a gas gas, this is, but... I, okay. Who is Riehu? Riehu. They're Spanish. Spanish. And gas gas was Spanish, too. So KTM 
bought the uh, the name and the rights to the brand, and Ray who bought the mark, the, all the tooling and yep. everything else. Uh, yep. You're a Ray who dealer, obviously. Where are you from? South Dakota. South Dakota. Yep. Awesome. I was just there. I oh, really? came through Whitehorse, uh, Teslin, Alaska down the Alaskan Highway, through North Dakota. Yep. Nonstop motorcycle parade. Guys, this is Gary and Mike from Ohio. You guys, uh, are you a veteran regulars here? Yeah. How many years have you been coming? Gosh, just like 90s. <laughs> what are your 30 years? What have you been riding? Uh, I just bought a 73 Sporty that you had on one of your videos. Oh, awesome. One of the ones we actually had? Yeah. Oh, cool. How about you? Um, I've got an 05 Sportster that I've kind of customed out a little bit. Awesome. Mixed it up with some 48 parts, but yeah. It's quite an event here. You're going gonna to watch the uh, Wheel of Death there? Yeah, we're going to go watch some racing at the track. The wall of death going on here. Nineteen twenty-seven, forty-five coming up next. More people have started on this bike here. It's a universal beginner bike. I could bring one of these to a huge motorcycle show, and more badass Hell's Angels will come over. Biggest, baddest bikers you ever seen. I'll be like a little kid. Uh, can I sit on it? You know, it brings back memories of our childhood where we all started. We all started on these little Hondas and worked our way up, or Yamahas like me. Nice TL125 you got there. Where are you from? Here, local. Uh, what? Awesome. What's happening, brother? Woo! Man, this thing's awesome. What year is it? Uh, I'm not sure here. I think it's it's in. Yeah, it's a Hodaka Ace 100 motor, right? Yeah. It's, uh, hooker. it's got a hooker header on it. It's a Bonanza MX 1410. That's a dream bike right there. Freaking awesome. Woo! How you doing? Good to see you. Here's where it's all about right here. It's the uh, road racing. The whole event at Mid-Ohio is held basically inside of the racetrack. Although there is a lot of activities going on outside the racetrack. But you can see that's the tower right there. 
This is a, the Mid Ohio Sports Car Racetrack, and obviously they use it for motorcycles too. We've got Mike Barn from Northern Ohio here on his Bear Tracker. Having a good time, Mike? Yeah. Good seeing you, brother. Awesome. Don't need to bring any food here. There's tons of food. I mean, there's a vendor row where you can get coffee, uh, barbecue, whatever you want, man. Like a like a typical county fair. It's tons of food. Motorcycle, all about motorcycles. Yeah. Woo! Uh. What's going on? How are you doing? What's going on, man? You got a booth? Uh, no, just here having fun. Another Hodaka. Wow, I haven't seen a pet in 75 before. I don't remember. That's a rare bird. Up here in the announcer's towers, you get a bird's eye view of the racetrack here. Here's the announcer. The guys at Mid-Ohio really hooked us up. They put us on the infield area right there. So we got the semi parked where the television crews are because we got a press pass and we're filming the event, which is pretty cool. That's where we're walking over there. That's the uh, wall of death over there in the uh, bike show. Definitely want to come to Mid-Ohio next year if you can. They even have a stocked cooler here for, for the photographers, which is awesome. Fringe benefits of all the hard work we put in bringing this event to you guys, I guess. That's the pits right there, pro pits, and the paddocks. And you can see the hill in the background there. That's where the swap meet is. We'll go up there later. Lots of nice camping areas here, too. You say any name? What's it like taking this bad boy on the track? Six, uh, must sound nasty. Can you fire it up? No, it doesn't have a starter. You oh. have to push it. Oh, you push it? Yeah. I'll be group two after lunch. Very cool. Look at the carbs on this thing. This thing must be a rocket. Paddock scene. Look at that. Would you just look at it? Wow. Bing bong. This thing's freaking awesome. Olin's slicks. Twins, Basil. Another six cylinder. Look at this thing. Street legal, freaking awesome. American made. Pit scene. Here's a rare bird. Can Am two stroke road racer. Looks like a 250. How badass is that? Freaking awesome. Holy oh, vintage iron. Oh, that's a rare bird right there. It's probably a 125 or something. Two stroke. Another little two stroke. Very cool. Little Suzuki two stroke. Every pit is not complete unless it has pit bikes. What's going on, brother? Nice IT. Right. Thank you. Wow. What year is that one? 86. 86. Uh, Cincinnati. Awesome. All right, man. Enjoy the ride, man. Yep. What's going on? You doing a little road racing? Uh, yeah. 900. That thing's badass. What year is that? 82900F. 82 that thing looks badass. That's the future of motorcycling right here. You gotta start them while they're young. Bring them to the. I had Junior at the first national at seven days old. My kids grew up at the track too. Have fun. Sure. Right. Let's hear it. Well, here we are, next stop. Like most national events, all of them, not all of them, but a lot of them are here. Royal Enfield is here, Triumph is here. You've got Indian here. These are all demo rides. You can ride any of these brand new bikes that you want. Just bring your license, sign up, and go for a ride. We, we might do that today. This is the uh, Royal Enfield Build and Train Race, where they signed up some women riders to get involved, and uh, they built these bikes. And boy, they are awesome. The Olin's forks, Olin's shocks, built motors, 
SNS pipe. Um, I'm gonna hopefully interview one of the women riders later. Big fan of what Enfield's doing here. They're doing a great job uh, as ambassadors of the sport, bringing the rig here and doing a demo ride. Yeah, it's awesome. Your, I love your. Uh, oh, thank you. Doing a great job. Oh, thanks, man. I gotta. I want to come out there and see you guys. You should. Days. You should. These are awesome. It's a Royal Enfield rig. Nice semi. This is the Triumph demo rig. This is another brand I'd love to have to sell. They've got my favorite tractor. Look at this thing. Studio sleeper. W900L. Thing's a Mac Daddy right there. Wow. 